Hey, this is Brock Mears in Electrical and Computer Engineering. I am going to do a Chrome River expense report for some, some receipts that I have. And I thought I'd just record what I'm doing in case it's useful to anybody else and probably more useful to myself as I do this at the end of every month so I remember what I did. Uh, so so here's the thing. Let's, I got to need to go to Chrome River. So I'm going to go to montana.edu and I'm going to go Chrome River. <clears throat> and then we wait, we wait. And then I come in here. Chrome River is the first thing that pops up. You log in. Okay, single sign on. <clears throat> okay, so here's Chrome River. And what Chrome River is to me is it is your credit card statement and you have to attach a receipt to every credit card statement and then submit it. And so this kind of takes the place of emailing your receipts to your accountant. So if I come in here, the first thing I do is I go into uh, eWallet and that shows me all of the expenses that I have that are not submitted yet. So this is like looking at my, uh, this is like looking at my <clears throat> credit card statement. And so you can see I have all these different receipts in here. Uh, this I have I did a class project where students, you know, they created printed circuit boards. So I have 14 students each had a credit card charge on my P card and I had two graduate students that then did a uh, DigiKey order for me. So I have 16 receipts that are all associated with the same kind of project. And so I'm gonna button all those up into a uh, expense report. So the key here is that these P card charges have to have a receipt attached to them. So the, so the whole trick here is you gotta get your receipt into Chrome River. And so I'll tell you some things that don't work for me. <clears throat> uh, if I try to do uh, upload a receipt, the issue becomes if I upload a receipt, let me let me browse to where my receipts are here. So, so I have this project, it's in a class, uh, da, 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 da. And I'm showing you kind of all the steps as I walk through them because I want you to see how much time it takes in reality. <clears throat> Might not take a lot. So anyway, I have all these receipts in here. And if I come along and I upload one, so I go ahead and I select this thing and I say open, it uploads the PDF and that's cool. So that this is like taking the place of emailing the accountant. <clears throat> and so then we sit and we wait for the receipt to go up there and there it is, right? And that's great. So, and I got this receipt in here. So the whole issue is this, when I go into eWallet, I come down here and your receipts are gonna be in here. And what I need to do is I need to come down and there's my receipt that I just brought in here. I need to associate that with a P card charge. The issue is if you upload it, it comes in as a $0 receipt. So you have to like keep track of what this receipt is. And I don't even know, you, you can open it, but it takes forever to try to open this thing. And then you have, you know, I've got, you know, I do like 50 to 75 P card charges a month and it keeping track of this is like impossible because I'm going to upload 16 receipts. They're all going to come in as zero dollar receipts. So I, this is uploading. It just doesn't flat out doesn't work for me. So I'm going to nuke that. <clears throat> so then you go, well, how are you going to get a receipt in there? Well, it turns out the easiest way to do it is to email uh, Chrome River. And so we have this, there's a, a, uh, an address and it's called receipts. And once you type it in once, it'll always come up. So it's receipt at ca1.chromeriver.com. And since it comes from my montana.edu email, it knows it's me. So it's going to put the receipt in there. But if you just attach a PDF to this and you say like Lemire's receipt, that doesn't help either because that will come in as a $0 receipt. So what I really want is I want to wait for my receipt to go into Chrome Rivers in my e-wallet so I can see the value of it. And so if I can see the value, then it, it eliminates the need for me to open the receipt to try to find out which receipt it is. So the, the trick, <clears throat> it's not even a trick, this, the feature of it is you enter the dollar amount of the receipt in the subject and then it will come in as the right, it'll actually just label it that. So now here's what you need to do. Here's what I've discovered I need to do. I'm trying to minimize the number of times I have to open these stupid PDFs. So I have gone in and every one I get, I put in the title, I put the name of the company I bought from and then I put the value. So this value is like the critical part of this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this first receipt over and I know that it was 
$1.87. That's all I put in the subject. There's no body. <clears throat> and now I'm going to send this thing. And so now I've just emailed that to Chrome River. And now what I'm going to do is go into my email and, or not my email, I'm going to wait for it to show up in eWallet. So if I go back to eWallet, <clears throat> I'm looking for a receipt that pops in here. And I'll pause the video while we wait. Okay, so that took two minutes and, and I got an email notification from Chrome River that the, a receipt had arrived. And I scroll down and I see it in my e-wallet. But the, the coolest thing about this now is that the receipt has the value on it. And that is the whole magic. You, I don't even know how you see these receipts. I'm sure there's a way to see it. But that was actually really easy to get the receipt into Chrome River <clears throat> and, and have the value here. Because now what I want to do is I'm going to associate this with the PCAR charge. And the way you do it is you click and hold and you drag it up and drop it into the PCAR charge. Now, here's the other thing is if you're someone who has a lot of PCAR charges, <clears throat> you can't fall behind on this because look at how many I have here. I got a, I have, of course, the GUI, you can't get it all on the screen. So, okay, luckily this charge is actually only a couple up. So there's my PCAR charge, right, right there. And I, I had to zoom way out to be able to see the PCAR charge. So watch what I do now. I'm going to click and hold and I'm going to drop it on there. And now this charge, which is this 8587, it says merged. And now it says my P card plus receipt. So I did it. I associated my receipt with this. So what I have to do now is I have 15 other receipts and I am going to uh, do that for all 15 of them. And then once I have all 16 of my receipts, then I'm going to create an expense report. And so what I'll do at this point is I'm going to do it and I'll, I'll put the, the video into kind of like fast capture mode so you don't have to sit here and watch it. But now I'm just going to sit here and send 15 emails to Chrome River. just emailed the other 15 receipts and that took me in real time about seven minutes and then notice that here's my email filling up with all these receipts notifications. Okay, so I've sent the 15 additional receipts in and if I look in my mailbox there, you know, I got all these emails that came in that says look at all these receipts. So now they're in uh, Chrome River. And when I come in here, now you get to see if you typed anything up wrong. I look at uh, eWallet has the P card charges and the receipts. If I go into eReceipts, uh, you see all these pictures in here. But if I go to list view, you can see that the values are in here. So I scroll down and see if I messed any up. And when you know it, I've got two of them that I screwed up. So I've got this one and this one. And if I go look at why they got screwed up, it's because if I look at my scent, if I come down here to sent, I look at the subjects and I'm in the habit of using the letter P. So I P85, that means I, I entered it wrong. I needed I need to resend that one. And then I have four P30. So I, I need to send that one again. So I can come into my receipt wallet or whatever this is. And I can click on this zero one and click on this zero one and I nuke them. So then I say, you guys go away. I go ahead and delete. And now I need to resend those. So back to email. Okay, so I'm back uh, and I've resent those two emails that I screwed up and I go into list view and I see <clears throat> so it appears that they have arrived. <clears throat> and okay, so I should, I have all my receipts. So now what I got to do is I got to go back into eWallet and I have to drag these onto other, onto the PCAR charges. Now, as you're trying to drag these, one of the things that's super annoying is that when you get a receipt and you drag it up, it won't automatically scroll up. And so you're sitting here with all these different P cards and you can't really see them all on the same screen unless you make them really small. But what you can do is if you come up here, you can sort. And I found that if I do sort by amount, <clears throat> highest or lowest, they, they're not perfect, but they're closer. Okay, so then I start seeing like, okay, here's here's a, uh, let's see, let's receipt, 655 is now right next to its its P card charge. And I can start going through all these <clears throat> and, and I wanna drop all 15 onto the P card charges. So the receipts are gonna be associated uh, with that. Okay, so I've associated all of the receipts with the P card charges for this report. And now when I scroll down to them, all these, I have 16 of these that say P card plus receipt. And 
life is good. So now I'm ready to actually create a, finally, the expense report, okay? So I'm gonna do new, <clears throat> and I go new expense report, and I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna try to follow this right here, uh, vendor, let's go, uh, this is like Osh, Park, DigiKey, and then Lemire's, and then Supplies, all right, and then start date. <clears throat> you know, these receipts are all over, so I'm, I'll do whatever to whatever. Uh, and then campus, this is gonna be uh, engineering college, and then we're gonna do business purpose. I'm gonna, this is, I'm just gonna use that for everything. <clears throat> and then report type, this is non-travel. And then there you go. So now watch what happens now. I'm gonna save, and it's gonna go, <clears throat> all right, so you're creating a new, report and it's working right now and now it's asking do you want to uh, add any charges to this report and you go yeah i do i want to add 16 of these now i have i actually have 18 charges in my thing right now so i'm going to select them all and then i'm going to go uncheck the two that aren't associated with this project so i've got that and i've got that and so now I, there's my 16 charges with 16 receipts and i say add and now here comes the part where it's going to ask you what these are supplies and materials uh, and notice now it's going to say date, spent, OSH part. It brings in my purpose. And then <clears throat> the only thing you need to do is for every receipt. Well, let's see if it's every receipt. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go educational supplies. Sounds good to me. And then allocation is going to be your uh, who's paying for it. So this is like your 4W <clears throat> number. This one happens to be paid by our department. And then here's the cool thing. As you come down here for this charge, the attachment's already on there. And so now you can just say, save. And now it goes to the next receipt. So you have to do this for all 16. So I'll put this in fast action for you. Okay, so now I'm done with that. I've added 16. That, took a, that actually took me six minutes to do. Uh, and I, go, I see my expense report over here with all these expenses on it. And lo and behold, I messed one up. So I got a little thing here. So I got a, <clears throat> it's giving me a warning that says a duplicate entry. And it turns out, I'm just going to do this. I'm going to say there were two charges for $5.50. <laughs> this is real. <clears throat> and then I'll do post. Okay, So it's complaining because I had two charges that were for $5.50 but they were true things, okay? Okay, so now I'm done, I got it. So now what I'm gonna do here is once I got all greens on these expenses, I'm gonna hit submit and then I wait. And it says, are you sure you wanna submit? And I'm like, yep, I do wanna submit. Before I do that though, the total, the total number of, ex, or the total cost here was 176 and there's nothing coming back to me, so I'm not getting reimbursed and I'm gonna hit a submit and it's done, it's away. Okay, so that was it. I actually, I did an expense report. So now let's talk about the time it took. So I was kind of writing down what I, how long it took me. Uh, in real time, it took me two hours and 10 minutes have passed since I started this video, but a lot of things happened in there. Uh, as with everything, if you have anything, it takes two hours, you're gonna get interrupted. So, uh, but I broke down the things that actually I was doing related to Chrome River. So renaming my files took, 13 to 15 minutes and it just it just takes that long to open those stupid pdfs and get the amount and then rename it what it should be uh it took me about seven minutes to email those pdfs in there and then i had to wait about five minutes for chrome river to receive them and put them into the wallet and then i had mistakes so i spent about 10 minutes finding the errors that i made uh when i re when i named the the subject of my email and by the time i fixed that that was another 10 minutes then the actual act of creating an expense report and adding the you know receipts was nothing it was like one minute but then coding them where it goes through and asks for every single receipt and what code you know what account it goes after and what it is that took about 10 minutes and then once i had everything added i had a, an error and i had to uh sit there and poke around forever to try to figure out what i fixed so Total time on task was 51 minutes of actually in Chrome River. Now, during that time, I had to stop once for a meeting, uh, and then it, of course, logged me out, and, and I had to re-log in. 
One time it hung, uh, and I had to close my web browser and bring it back up. And then there was just a lot of uh, waiting around. So I can't blame all that. I can't really say that it was a solid hour because <clears throat> I was talking through this too. So anyway, uh, I'm, I'm putting this down as about a 60-minute a project. And let's, but I don't think it's going to take that long going forward. I bet I could have done it in 45 minutes if I wasn't, if I didn't get distracted and it, by meetings and, and email, emergency emails and everything. Uh, so I, I bet I probably could have done that in 45 minutes. Here, let me give you the tips or let me give myself my, the tips so I remember this the next time I do it. Number one, first and foremost, name your receipts when they come in with the name of the company and the amount so that you do not have to open the stupid PDF uh, when you go to submit Chrome River. I don't know why it just takes so long for PDFs to open these days. It takes time. So rename them as they come in. Number two, send the receipts in as they come in. Uh, I thought it would be easier to wait and get my whole project done and then send 16 receipts in there. It just, it sucked because it just, it was too much to do at one time and you get interrupted so much that it's harder. It would have been much better to just do it as they come in. And then I think the, the lesson I've learned here is don't let this build up. I think I need to do this every week to avoid, I, those receipts built up for two weeks. And you can see, I, and then I'd already submitted some. I, I opened Chrome River this morning. I had, I had like over 20 receipts and it was just like, it was too much. You can't see all the charges and it's just too much. So I think I have to honestly spend, I have to do this every week or else I'm going to get overwhelmed with the volume of receipts in there. Okay, I don't know if that helped anybody, but I'm sure it'll help me in next week when I try to do this again. All right, see ya.